My name is Adi Palti. I'm a practitioner, dental practitioner. I'm a dentist uh, focusing on aesthetic and implantology since 40 years. I am the co-chairman of the ICOI, which is the biggest implant association worldwide, and I'm involved in research of uh, periodontal diseases, implant, uh, implant structure, soft and hard tissue. So my, my main focus is on aesthetic, hard and soft tissue and implant treatments. So I do research and I'm involved with ultrasound toothbrush over 10 years. So we can compare all the market, uh, comparing normal toothbrushes to the ultrasound toothbrushes, all the advantages and disadvantages. So this is our expertise since over 10 years, focusing on it. Adi, you have been using ultrasound toothbrushes with many patients for many years. Uh, please explain to us the benefits over other toothbrushes. A long time experience with many patients and over a few years with the ultrasound toothbrush, the advantage is the following. We have a non-mechanical cleaning which is much better for the gums, for the roots or for the implants comparing to a mechanical cleaning. So it means that we get a nice cleaning of the soft tissue, of the hard tissue, of the interdental spaces without damaging those uh, structures. And this is the advantage comparing to a mechanical cleaning which can damage on the long run the tooth structure, the implant surface, the abutment surface and the soft tissue. Adi. Please explain to us the key patient benefits of using an ultrasound toothbrush. Well, based on the patient's experience and my observation on the patient is the following, that the ultrasound toothbrush can be used in every case, even if the patient has sensitive uh, tooth or sensitive gingiva. Another advantage of the toothbrush is uh, the, the, the toothpaste is the active part of it. And especially for elderly patients, having the three brushes together and cleaning an implant bar, this is a holder bar, the patient with one movement can clean the whole structure. Or if we talk about implants with ball attachment, it is amazing how easy it is to clean those structures with the three toothbrushes. So it's not only the mechanical advantage, as I mentioned, but also the fact that especially when the patient get old, they don't have the, the flexibility and the movement and the, the, the speed like young people. And the ultrasound toothbrush, it's an amazing tool with an optimal cleaning of those structures. When we speak briefly about cleaning the interdental spaces. What are the, what are the problems? What are the benefits? Well, the interdental spaces are always a problem. There was a, there were a problem in the past. They are a problem now and there will be a problem in the future. People are using dental floss or interdental brushes very extensively. And sometimes due to the mechanical uh, activities, they damage their papillas. So having the ultrasound toothbrush cleaning those spaces is much more effective and protective for the soft tissue instead of going mechanically with ultra, uh, with, uh, with uh, interdental brushes and with dental floss. So I see an advantage not damaging those structures and protecting them and having a perfect cleaning which is based on the toothpaste. The, the other uh, key area is the improvement of gum health and the reduction of gum recision. So how, how does the ultrasound toothbrush function in this particular point? In these cases when we have gum disease or recessions, it is very important for the patient to clean it first. So the moment they have gum disease, they are very sensitive. So they don't go with a mechanical cleaning over those uh, gums 
and they get even more plaque and more infections. If they have a recession, it means it's a very thin soft tissue with a retraction. So going with mechanical instruments, mechanical toothbrushes and uh, normal toothpaste, it can even uh, uh, change the recession and, and even worsen the situation. Having the ultrasound without any mechanical push, mechanical stress, it helps cleaning the infection and avoid recessions and even creating more gums. If you have a good cleaning with the ultrasound toothbrush, you can improve sometimes the recession by avoiding mechanical brushing. How many times per day do you suggest using the ultrasound brush and what are the, ref the effects on the reduction of bad breath? Well, I will suggest to my patient to use it twice a day at least, in the morning and in the evening. And for bad breath, I think that if they can take the brushes with them at work, they can use it a third time after lunch. But again, two times per day will be excellent. Three times will be even favorable if people have bad breath. It will help a lot improving the bad breath situation three times daily. I would like to show the advantage of the triple toothbrush for cleaning a holder bar. You go always from the posterior to the anterior and anterior posterior cleaning. This gives you the possibility with a triple toothbrush to clean the buccal area, the lingual area and the top of the bar and under the bar you go back and forth. A second advantage is people with ball attachment, regardless of the attachment of magnets, you can go and move forward and backward on those ball attachment and have a perfect cleaning. Of course, with the ultrasound toothbrush, you don't need the movement because the cleaning is not done by the movement. So you can hold it a few seconds about five seconds on each side and then you get a perfect cleaning. The same is when you use it around the bar. You don't need the mechanical cleaning. You just move it slowly back and forth and you get a perfect cleaning. Don't forget to use the specific toothpaste because the toothpaste itself create the cleaning of the surface and the gums cleaning. As you see here, with these movements, we get a few movements on the soft tissue. So massaging the soft tissue increases the bleeding around the implant or around teeth and gives us a better healing in case of gum diseases. I would like to show you the difference between a normal toothbrush and a three-sided toothbrush. If you look at the normal movements we do when we clean our teeth, this direction, this direction, massaging, whatever method you are using, look what's happening. You have to go around the teeth from the buccal area, from the occlusal or incisal area, and then from the palatal area. The three-sided toothbrush had an advantage. You go with this toothbrush over your teeth, and then you move slowly, as described slowly, from the back to the front, and from the front to the back, and then you clean the buccal area, the occlusal area, and the palatal area. So this is actually the advantage of this toothbrush. It makes brushing much more effective, especially when you have brackets on your teeth and you don't want to damage them and to scrub it. So moving with this toothbrush slowly and effectively, you can clean the brackets which are positioned on this area without damaging them and without moving or scratching the surface of those brackets. There are ceramic brackets nowadays, titanium brackets. Nobody needs scratch and nobody wants to clean it in an aggressive way. So this ultrasound toothbrush is the perfect solution, upper jaw and lower jaw for these cases.